It's all the ladies. What are you guys doing? So you could see the top of this thing that I built, I don't know, 10 years ago is finally starting to fall over. But we're going to take that waterer and a bigger feeder and we're going to build a new box for right here. Uh, that's going to enable us to fill both the feed and water from outside the run area here. Hello, ladies. Gotta get me one of those. Here we're making baseboards for our rabbit hut. John cut me off, but we're making baseboards for our rabbit hutches.
So we got the feeder hanging in here. It's just a rough box, nothing perfect. Even had to use some warped wood. That's what you get for $800. Of course, I got more stacked behind me. It's not just this. But that's a 30-pound uh, feeder. So we're increasing the size, and then we got room for our waterer to sit in here. We're going to move that when we get a chance. We got to demo the spot first. All right, so we, we didn't film it, but we put this in place, and we ended up, um, the other one rotted out, but it, it suited its purpose for, geez, I don't know, eight years or something. But um, we got a bigger feeder now, a 30-pound feeder, and then we're going to move our water bucket or barrel under here as well once it's emptied. Right now it's full, so we're not going to waste the water. And all the ladies, we're going to see how they take to this in a few minutes but they're just picking up some food that we threw down so this here is our finished product get in there chickens but just so you can see the water fits in there nice the feeder fits in there nice it's too cold out here to do a full we're gonna just adapt to make it easier to fill the water and then the food but that'll come soon all right ladies get in there it's too cold out here that's it for now